Hello and welcome back to another brand new Minecraft video with me, Foxy Notel, here on this world where I'm going to be talking to you about a brand new add-on or mod pack or whatever you want to call it for the Bedrock edition of Minecraft. And I'm here with my friend Chuck, but Chuck, something just seems a little bit so off with you. You're normally a lot more standy uppy than you are right now. I've been at it again, guys. I've been at it again, and this time I've made something that I think I would find particularly useful, and I think a lot of you guys will as well. If you uh, if you can't tell already, that isn't actually my second account. It's not my old account, Chuck. It is an entity. It is nothing other than just a random mob in the world that looks like Chuck, and it's got some very, very interesting behaviours. Let me go over to this chest. Let me grab some emeralds, some diamonds, a bed, and some blocks of iron, and we'll see what this Chuck can do. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him an emerald. And what that does is that basically tames him. Imagine he was like a wolf. He's now tamed. He's now mine. I own him. So I'm the owner of Chuck. And as his owner, he will follow me around, which is very handy. Come on, Chuck. Over this way. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't dilly-dally. Don't dilly-daddy. And uh, if you do... You know, wander off too far. There we go. Look, perfect example. He will teleport to you. So he's got pathfinding skills, just like a dog, which is very handy. Come back over here, Chuck, because this is where we're doing the demonstration. So that's one thing he'll do. So you could have a little friend wandering about, but that's, you know, not very... Thanks, Chuck. Not very exciting, is it? The other things he can do are, if we give him another emerald, boop, there we go. He is now pocket-sized Chuck. I can take him away with me. I can put him in a chest. I can save him for another day. I can reduce the lag on the server just ever so slightly by putting him away in my pocket. But then if I click the floor, bing, there he is again. And he says, I won't sleep at night if you sit until you sit me down. Right, okay. So, next thing I do. Give him an emerald again. Make him my friend again. And this time what I'm going to do, instead of having him follow me, I just want him okay. to sit there and I want him just to stay and, and I, I, I want to get on with my day, you know, without having to worry about him teleporting me. And I know what you're thinking, oh, he's just a dog, he's just a retextured dog. No, there's more to it. Wait, wait, hang on. So he'll sit down. Let's yeah. stand him up again for a second. Let's click on him with the bed. Yeah. And it says, I will sleep at night if you sit me down, which sounds pretty good. So let's okay. sit him down then and let's, uh, let's wait for the night time. Do it the cheaty way, because I've turned daylight cycle off. And there we go, look. He's gone to sleep, and look at the sky. Look at it going round. He is one player sleeping for us. What? He's one player sleeping for us without a bed? Wait, let's let's check that again. Let's just turn it to night time again. Maybe it was... A, no, he's going to sleep. He is going to sleep, and uh, the night is passing, and in the morning, there we go, he's woke up. Brilliant. So we've passed the night. Now, what if I... Oh, I don't want you to sleep. Yeah. Stand up, Chuck. There we go. Ah, the, the night isn't going past. But if I sit him okay. down again, oh, it'll yeah. carry on. Unless I click okay. him with the bed again and he says, I won't sleep at night if you slip me down. Okay. Now if I sit him down at night, he's not going to go to sleep. He's not going to ruin the night so I can have the nights if I need to go fight monsters, for instance, like those guys over there. So that's really useful. We've got one player sleep with an entity. So we don't even need to go to sleep in the game anymore. So we could be off doing things. And Chuck can sleep for us. Now, I can't click him with the bed while he's sat down. I have to yeah. stand him up again. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going uh, okay. to tell him I want him to sleep. And now I'm going to go far away. And I'm going to go into creative mode to do that because I can't be bothered to walk. So I'm going to go far away. Over here. Miles and miles and miles away from Chuck. And I'm going to set it to night again. And we're going to see what happens. So this should be far enough away for him to be unloaded. So let's set it to night. And as you can see, the world is not spinning round. So let's go back to Chuck like that. And now I come back to him, the night will start spinning round. And you might think, well, that's a bit useless. Then as soon as he unloads, we're not gonna, you're not going to pass the night. Well, Chuck has another really, really useful function. Stay away from me, skeleton. He yeah. will, if we click him with a diamond, he will make a noise. I will load chunks with a radius of two chunks. Click him again. I will load chunks with a radius of four chunks. Click him again. I will... Oh, there's no I. Spell a mistake. <laughs> we'll load chunks with a radius of six chunks. Basically, he's a chunk loader. He will load your chunks. He's a, t he's a walking, talking, ticking area. If we sit him down okay. and, uh, and we do ticking area list, that'll show us all the ticking areas in our world. You'll see there is one six chunk ticking area exactly where Chuck is. If I stand yeah. him up and click him with that diamond again, and then do the ticking area command, you'll see there are no ticking areas. Click him with the diamond the first time, do it. He's now a two chunk ticking area. Click him with the diamond again, 
He's now a four junk ticking area, and the, again, he's a six junk ticking area. Now, that's the maximum he can get to. I would advise if you're going to use this and you're going to use it on the maximum to expect a little bit of lag in your world because a ticking area, if you don't already know, it's basically just something in the game that continues okay. everything happening around it. So, well, we can, we can demonstrate this. Let's pop a zombie right next to Chuck, and we're going to teleport away really quickly. So let me get the teleportation command ready. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this zombie down, I'm going to run the teleport command and go 100,000 blocks away from Chuck and then see if he still sleeps the night away. So let's pop that zombie down, go a couple of nights, uh, yeah, very long, long way away, set it to night, and we'll see... Even all the way over here, the night passes, those areas are being loaded, he's doing stuff for us, which is absolutely amazing. So we can go off mining, building, doing what we want, miles away from Chuck, and he's going to keep that area loaded and sleep through the night for us if we want him to. Let's go back to him, and we can also see that zombie has wandered off. In fact, it's pro oh, there it is, over there, look. So, yeah, mobs will still move about, mobs won't spawn around him, you can't use this for a mob farm. Mobs won't spawn around him. But they will move around, redstone will still still tick, farms will still work, villages will still village, crops will still grow. Basically, all of the things that you need to go AFK for, except for working at a mob farm, will work around Chuck while he's in yeah. that mode. Now, if you don't want that or it's lagging your world out, just click him until it says, I'm not loading chunks, and that won't happen anymore. Likewise, if you don't want the night to go yeah. away, click him until okay. it says, I won't sleep at night if you sit me down. And there we go. That's it. Simple as that. So what's the iron blocks for? Well... What I haven't covered is how to get a chuck into your world. Now, the easiest thing to do is run a command, which is function, and then just run. And that will pop a chuck down right where you are, the person that runs the function. And that will be an untamed chuck if we tame him with an emerald. And then we can pop him away. We can have a couple of chucks in our inventory there ready for another day. The other way, if you don't want to use commands, if you haven't got cheats enabled, if you want to do this completely in survival, I've made it so you can get a chuck, but it's quite difficult to do because we don't want them just spawning all over your world. So let's go up in the sky and build a platform. What I've done now is I have made a platform of iron blocks at the level 252 is where I'm standing. Anywhere above level 250 in the world, so very, very, very high up, you will get, there we go, look, a chuck spawning. You'll only get one, but you will get a chuck spawning. Now, if we click him with an emerald and make him our friend and then put him in our pocket, we will get another one spawning as well. So if you want more than one, you can get more than one. But the idea here is that we don't just want them spawning all over the world. They're a very, very powerful tool. Having too many of these in your world will probably lag it out with all of the ticking areas. So we, uh, yeah, we don't want too many. So I've made it so you'll only get one. And you need to be in the center of this platform. Chuck will spawn within three to eight blocks away from you. So your platform needs to be about 16 by 16 in order to spawn one. And the more iron blocks you've got, the quicker he will spawn in. There we go. We've got another chuck there. So what happens if we do spam in a load of chucks? Because technically the Minecraft Bedrock Edition can only have 10 ticking areas. Let's find out. But first, you're going in my pocket, mate. So I have gone and spammed in 10 chucks. I've set them all to be chunk loaders as well. They are all ticking areas. If we use our list to check the ticking areas, you can see there are 10 there. I've counted them. But at the bottom it says 0 out of 10 ticking areas in use. So we can actually have as many ticking areas in our world as we want. So let's do it again with him. Give him a diamond and sit him down. Okay. Let's give it to one to him. Give him a diamond and sit him down. Okay. And one to you. Give you a diamond and sit you down. So there we okay. go. We've got, now we've got 13 ticking areas in our list, which is absolutely crazy. So this is very powerful. It could definitely cause some problems. If you've got it on multiplayer and people spam these everywhere, it could well lag out the world. So just be careful because when he is in the ticking yeah. area mode, when he's had the diamond, he even if he's standing okay. up or yeah. sitting down, he's going to load the world. So... He will load the world okay, even when he's yeah. standing or sitting. So to turn it off, and I suggest you do when you're not using it, click it until it says I'm not loading chunks. And that will take away one of those ticking areas. So yeah, very, very powerful. Hopefully very handy. And uh, let's say you don't... Chuck, get out of my way. Let's say you don't want him to look like Chuck Loader from my videos. What if you want him to look like someone else? Okay, so the file you're going to download is this chunk loader 1.0.0.mc add on. And inside that, there are two folders chunk loader B, which is the behavior pack, and chunk loader R, which is the resource pack. If you turn that into a zip file, like that, and then right click on it and extract all, you'll get these two folders. If you go inside the R folder 
and to textures and entity you'll get this player skin file here which has got fcl underscore chunk loader dot png as the name if you replace that with any other skin file and give it the same name it should work so let's try it so what I'm doing now is I'm navigating to the actual world that I'm playing on in my single player worlds and it's this one here if I go into the resource packs folder, you'll see it says Fox's Chun, which it's uh, that I've not called it that, the game's called it that. But yeah, it's basically in here. If we go into the textures folder and click on entity, you'll see that exact same file. Let's have a look at what skins we've got in here. I know we've got B-Man, a random person. I don't know who, who that could potentially be. It looks a little bit like one of my friends from Truly Bedrock. Let's uh, put that on there instead. And let's load the world back up. Play chunk loader video hopefully when we go in here we should see that all of the people look <laughs> like silent whisper i got silent whispers all over the place yeah. and they like following me around they do still sound okay. like chuck though okay. you could change the yeah. sound files okay. if you wanted yeah. to okay. but yeah you could change them to be whoever or whatever you oh look and i've changed into alex brilliant so how do we install this pack then let's have a look at that well it really couldn't be simpler let's go back to that file that you're going to download and double click it Minecraft will load up. This is on Windows 10, by the way. It'll say import started. And then it will say successfully imported. And it should do that twice. Once for the behavior pack and once for the resource pack. Now all you've got to do is create a new world or go to one of your existing worlds. But let's create a new one for now. We go to the behavior packs button down here, my packs, and then just activate that. You don't need to do the resource pack one because they're dependent. So that one's already gone in there. Create that world. Now, we've got no cheats enabled, so I can't summon one in, but that's it. That's all you need to do. Chuck will now be able to spawn in this world at the top with iron blocks if you if you so wish him to. And I really like these mountains, by the way. Anyway, what if you don't have Windows 10? What if you're on Xbox or something like that? Well, for the majority of platforms, if you go over to Minecraft.net website, there is actually a web page that tells you how to install it on certain things. So if we look at the Windows 10 one, it basically says to double click it on Android, iPhone or iPad, Oculus Rift. There's all of those there, but there aren't any of the console editions. I'm not sure about PlayStation or Switch, but I know there are ways to do it on Xbox using a file manager. If you spend enough time looking around YouTube or Googling it, you'll eventually come across some videos. This was one that was sent to me. I've no idea if it works or not but it says how to download minecraft mods on xbox one tutorial new method 2020 i guess it should work i've been sent it as a working thing i've no idea because i don't have minecraft on the xbox myself but yeah follow that and have a look and yes this pack will work absolutely fine on realms and servers as well so i've uploaded the world to my spare server this is running on the bds server if i click on that we'll take us straight back to where we just were i've already spawned chuck in using commands just to make sure that worked now let's see if this works. So Chuck is sat down at the minute. Let's click him with an emerald. That worked absolutely fine. And if we click him again, he pops off into our pocket. That's very good. Let's put him down there. Let's click him again with an emerald to tame him. Let's give him a diamond. Looks like all of those things are working. And let's yeah. click him with the bed. He will sleep at night, he said. Now let's okay. sit him down and go to time set night. And there we go, he's sleeping the night away for us. I got a couple of comments on my last video I did for the spectator mode and one pay asleep saying they won't work on the server or realms because of bugs. I have made sure that this doesn't use any of the things affected by the bugs. So this will work absolutely perfectly on yeah. realms and servers. So you can use it on any of your worlds should you need to. And this pack is completely 100% free. You can download it from foxynotel.com. If you head over to the downloads page there, you'll see it listed. It's free of charge. You can install it on whatever you want. But that's enough from me. So I'd like to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.